Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, um, just thank you for being you. Uh, I know work, walking on this uh, road and being on this journey is no piece of cake. But being able to be be able to, you know, extend your light, brighten your light, and just walk it in your authentic self is truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, then you just up, tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos is giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again. Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> I thought my one of my cats got hurt. I'm like, wait a minute, what happened? Oh, but anyways, thank you so much for the love and support, and I hope you're able to resonate with content in my video. And today, um, my meditation music that I'm listening to in the background is called Positive Energy Cleanse 432 Hertz. Um, calming music, self-love, healing frequently, frequency and a uh, miracle healing tone and that fits perfect with the video i'm about to do next uh it's called twin flame 101 hey Ocus, if you feel like you are lost you you have lost your way that special someone will will be your compass for you to find your way back home it is so true i was listening this, this one of these uh youtubers have uh, a YouTube channel doing a lot of my dad's videos, you know, uploading a lot of videos, and there was some songs she did uh, a dedication to, and it was one that Leona did, Leona Lewis, and she was dedicating it to him, and it fit, fit me so good that it made me uh, emotional. It was called Foot, uh, Footprints in the Sand. And it made me so emotional, like I cried and I cried hard because it resonated with me and my dad, uh, connection and relationship. You know, there's times where, you know, I felt lost, like I lost my way. I didn't understand why things were the way they were. Why did it have to be so painful? Why did it have to be so hard? And, you know, I just wanted to see the signs, you know, and it was just like I was so focused on everything that I was going through and not being able to appreciate the abundance that was flying into my life and um being you know it's just like sometimes when we're under a lot of stress and we're dealing with so many things at one time and it's just like you know the universe is just like universe and darkness is sending things to teach you and something to keep you off you know knock you off, off focus and it was just you know this was very a uh, very much of a stressful week for me and it was like, I learned a lot of things this week. I released a lot of things. And there was sent, things that were able to be sent towards me. I got to see my, my granddaughter. I haven't seen my granddaughter in probably a month. Because th things were going on between me and her mom. And, um, you know, dealing with my, my mom's ex-husband and his wife. You know, that was stressful because they were the ones that were, that did all the abuse. Well, basically her children as well they were all into it and that was a lot of stuff that I had to you know I forgave them for but just you know it's easier when you forgive somebody you don't have to see them anymore but it's a whole different story when the universe orchestrates you to be in front of them just to just to basically see uh put that to a test that you really let things go you know so you can be able to have new newer things that comes into your life those bigger vibes that you know you need to step up on that next step to greatness towards you know um and you don't understand the things that has been placed in your life you know there's so many of y'all you know you you open up and tell me the things that you have endured throughout your life and it, i cry a lot because it's just the fact is when people i'm that type of person that if you tell me your life story i it, it's like a movie 
that you're telling me because I, I vision these things, I see them and it breaks my heart. And I know how there's a lot of times we can get lost in our way when we're trying so hard to, you know, heal ourselves, trying so hard to let go of the pain that we have endured, you know, trying to make sense of why we had to go through the things we had to go through. But it's just along that way, you know, that special someone, it could be your uh, spirit guide. It can be death of a loved one that you hold dear to your heart. Um, just anybody that is special to you that is no longer on this, this uh, physical plane that is there to help you. Or even people that, you know, if you got a twin flame or you have somebody that you are connected with is a Hayoka or even just a regular empath that has different gifts. You know, they could be sending you love, um, comfort, upliftment, you know, all these beautiful things that you're truly desperately needing at that time. And it was just like, you know, I was going through that. And then I have a vision, you know, of saying certain things like to my loved ones that they sent towards me. And then there's sometimes you do you know, lose your, your way at times when, when you have been through so much. You know, I can really look at the things that has been placed in my life and it humbles the heck out of me. You know, even though it was hard to deal with, but I was like being too hard on myself, you know, and my dad kept on telling me, you don't realize how, how strong you are. You really don't. You know, he's like, you know, he always constantly tells me he's sorry or, you know, I constantly hear purple rain because he blames himself for the things that I've been through. And I keep telling him this has nothing to do with you. You actually broke your neck to try to be in my life. There was people that stopped that, you know, for you being connected to me. There was deception. There was lies. There was, you know, messed up information that stopped that connection from happening. So I tell him I never blame him or my mom for what they did. You know, my, my mom was 16. My dad was 18. What could you do if you had no job? You know, you want, when you give up your children, you want to be able to have them to have a better life for themselves that you weren't, weren't able to give at that time. Or, you know, some people give their children up because they weren't able to afford them uh, to keep them. You know, all these different things that can come into life. But, you know, when I can sit back here and think about the things that I've, you know, gone through since I went through my spiritual awakening and finding out the whole truth about my identity, about my, you know, my biological family, about all those things. I mean, it, it brought tears to my eyes. It really did because, you know, your parents are supposed to be that person you look up to for protection that will not a allow you to be hurt. And for that, you know, the only person, well, the only people that I know that truly care for me as for me all passed away you know so being able to have that reassurance yesterday they you know I had to really cry like let that out because I kept on hearing you know hearing my mom my grandmother my grandfather just tell me baby just let it go cry because you need to let it out because you need to be able to let this go so you can move on you know and that was like a lot to deal with a lot and you know you have to go through so much pain you don't um things that you have endured you know a lot of people don't even have that mindset to understand how the heck were you able to get through it all you know and I mean there was a lot of times that like I've told y'all before I wanted to end my life and I used to get angry with God because I asked him you know uh why wouldn't you let me go just let me go I don't want to feel this anymore I was going to get a tattoo one time and it said that heaven didn't want me and hell had a restraining order because <laughs> devil told me hell no you can't come back here no more you reckon more shot than i want you to you know because it's like when i see all the things that i've done you know i can be able to meditate and you know i pull somebody out the dark side i've, I've been eye to eye to demons that you know people don't even have the capacity to even you know realize the things that i've done you know, and I still didn't give myself that credit. You know, I've known things about people in their private life. There is no way of me knowing, but yet I was able to tell them. That was a blessing to me. You know, um, knowing when I've been on this path, you know, I had my God sister with me. Um, my best friend with me. My father, my grandparents. Uh, my father. I mean, my, you know, my, my father, my brother. Uh, my mom. 
my sister, you know, all these people that passed away that meant a lot to me. Um, you know, going through this this situation, you know, I used to cry and I said, you know, the people that could have helped me out of this predicament is not here. And they were like, you, we are here, but we're not helping you out the way you thought it was going to be because I had to go through all these situations. I had to be able to endure the most gut-wrenching pain that a person could ever go through. A child should never be abused, no kind of shape, form, or fashion. I feel like, you know, when I, when people have to abuse children, give them up for adoption. You know, there's hospitals, there's churches, there's police stations you can take them to. Do not put that that heaviness on a child. You know, they're innocent. They weren't asked to be here. That That's God's gift to you. You know, there's a lot of people out here can't even conceive children, you know, and then you see people doing so much evil things to children, you know, and it, it is just like, it's so irritating to me. That's why I always say I work hard because one day I want to be able to help children, whether or not they're adopted or foster, you know, even biological, you know, for them to be able to have that, you know, reform to get, you know, back on track to know that, you know, this is not your fault. You know, a lot of people will be in your life that has been abused to say that you don't matter. You'll never amount to nothing. You'll never be anything. Why don't you just kill yourself and get away with, you know, and end it all. You know, I had family members to tell me, you know, why don't you kill yourself and don't allow nobody to have a letter. Just let them find you rotting. I mean, you know, different stuff like that. Just that, you know, so they can get, you know, the rock of Gibraltar that didn't even belong to them, you know, and I mean, that was a sad feeling to have to go through and, and just knowing that I was able to take my power back, you know, that was a big deal for me because it's just like these people basically got away with murder and just, the, you know, didn't even engage in it, point fingers, didn't do that. Because mm -mm. Mm -mm. when I, when I see things turning like this, and you know blessings are in your favor, you have to be able to just wait, but just keep working on you. You know, don't ever lose your way or you feel like you're losing your way. Just know that um, you have people that you can rely on. You know, you get that whisper in your ear. Hey, I'm here. You know, don't, don't think you're on this alone. You know, at times we do feel by ourselves. You know, we go through things and we feel like, you know, we're being ignored. We're not. But you have to be able to go through those trial and errors. You have to be able to um, go through mistakes. You have to be able to get your heart broken a couple of times. So when all these big, beautiful blessings come in, it allows you to be humble. It allows you to be grateful. It allows you to be able to see the bigger picture of that perspective. Um, being able to um, tell your story, being able to help somebody else that's going through some trying times, and just be grateful for every moment. You know, when I look at the things that I went through, it's hard, you know, but I can, you know, just say that it allowed me to see the strength in me. That I never comprehend that I actually have within myself to be able to help myself and a lot of other people. You know, I, I see posts that, you know, that uh, resonates with me saying, you know, um, sometimes you have to go through a lot of situations just for you to be able to help others find their way. And it is a, it's a blessing to be able to do that. You know, um, going through a lot of things, it, it took me it took me through a lot, you know, um, being able to endure a lot of things that, you know, I, there's many days that I wanted to take my life for it because I didn't want to feel it. That pain is it, just like when you can look at family and just feel like, you know, if you have, who needs enemies, <laughs> you know, who, who needs enemies when you got people like that, you know, it's like, dad, I hate to see it. They tell you to love you, but they treat you like they do. And you're like, damn, I hate to see what you would do if you hated me, you know. And it's just a look on their face yesterday when they can see just strength. 
when I was just numb to the fact it was like not numb that where I wasn't paying attention or you know just trying to suppress it but it's like numb to where you don't move mountains for me anymore you don't trigger me anymore I don't have hate in my heart I actually feel sorry for you you know um and praying that they can be able to heal in different ways it's just like if anything came about it i wouldn't even want them in jail for what i mean y'all old as hell <laughs> when you know i mean it's just like you you already going through it already because it's like before my 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 biological father uh passed away they actually look really good for their age but when i seen them i was like damn whoo looking like death walking on water that is not a good thing so i already know life has not been kind to you you know so going through all these things and you know even though i, I didn't laugh you know i i rejoiced myself just the fact is because you know darkness wanted me to react darkness wanted me to point blame uh darkness wanted me to you know retaliate i didn't do none of those things i act very calm and you know towards somebody who know that they have did the ultimate to you and knowing that you are not snapping you are not yelling you're not bringing attention to yourself i said number one this is my daughter's day it ain't got nothing to do with you it ain't got nothing to do with me i just invited you <laughs> but i was being that bigger person but also you know universe orchestrated that just to make sure oh are you over this did you let it go you know i had to let everything go i had to pray got on damn near got on my knees and screamed everything you know let all of it out because i just kept on every feeling all my, my my special someone's having their hands on my back and giving me that loving energy as i was releasing the sad ones you know and that was truly a blessing that i can hold in my heart so it's just like when you feel that urge that you feel lost or you can't find your way knowing there's a special someone that holds the compass of love to help you find your way home so before i get emotional i'm going to end this video because it's already 17 minutes long so i will see you on my next video much love to you peace and be wild